It should come as no surprise. Before the American Rev- Revolution, many of the counties were named after English nobles um, or uh, members of parliament, or they were named after local in- Indian tribes, counties such as Cho- Cho- Choan and Perquimans. Um, during the Revolution period, many of them were named after American patriots, generals, officers in the American Revolution, or statesmen, or they were named after English members of parliament who were friends of the American cause. And then uh, in the around 1820s, 1830s, and then in the 1870s and 1880s, many of the counties, uh, especially in the western part of the state, were named after uh, former state officials or current state officials, and many of those state officials were from the eastern part of the state, and this was done in an effort to, to remind uh, North Carolinians in the mountains um, uh, that uh, they were North Carolinians too. It, it was an effort simply to un- unify everybody within the borders of uh, North Carolina because regionalism existed.